Hey guys and welcome back to Studio Talks Utter Shite while mining fake gold in the video game. Ah, how's it going? Are we good? Are we good? I'm good. I'm good. The last couple of episodes have went kind of sideways in terms of commentary. What about the latest and greatest in the fucking celebrity world? Jesus. Ah. Although I do like that I went on a rant about magnets and how they're fucking wizardry. And uh, I got like so many comments. I actually got an email from a guy who was like, uh, so I've done a bit of research on magnets after you're talking about it because I realised that I had no idea how they worked either and yep, they are fucking wizardry. I was like, yeah, I told you. Fucking wizardry. The way it, it actually turns out that magnets are a sort of stored energy and um, any time the attraction's used in a magnet, then it is, uh... uh it's kind of used up and eventually a magnet will become demagnetized over time. And then you can recharge it using wizardry. But yeah, it's just... Uh, the energy stored. Which is interesting. But it's one of those things that, like... It's like friction, isn't it? It's all to do with the aligning of the... Oh, fuck knows, man. Fuck knows, the aligning of the fucking stars and the wizard ones, man. It's fucking wizardry. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's, one of, it's one of those things that's like... It's so interesting to be so... <laughs> naive about a subject. Because the, the, the stage of eleven just now, it's like... Any subject you want to know about, just fucking Google it, man. Google it. Wikipedia is there. Someone's fucking done an in-depth article about it, and then there's further reading if you so if you feel so inclined. So it's kind of I don't know liberating to be uh, ignorant of something like like that, especially when it's so easy. Is <laughs> it would be a matter of like. Maybe half an hour for me to find out and write down exactly how magnets work. But no. But no. <laughs> Let's be willfully ignorant. Uh, let me know if there's anything like that that you guys are willfully ignorant about. I find it funny though that these little rocks pop off and then you see them just piling up on this extra bit of dirt that we've dug out. I was wondering where that dirt was coming from but it's I, I'd lit literally just seen it. Ah. I've got a I've got a series I've been thinking about doing. I've been thinking about doing it for a while, it's just I'm not sure how it would go over. But um, it's basically a series that I would title The Tube Truths and it's talking about um, some of the bullshit that you hear about YouTube from other creators and it'd probably be mildly controversial just because I'd be calling people out on their shite but uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of crap that you see other creators telling their audiences and it's like did you literally just lie into your audience and it happens a lot and you'll probably if you if you follow this channel then you've probably seen some stuff that other people have posted and thought, hmm, she just told me the complete fucking opposite of that. That sounds like bullshit. And yeah, it's probably because it is. And don't get me wrong, most of these creators that say stuff like that don't say it out of a place of malice. But uh be very wary when people say when so the when a creator asks you to take something at face value and then points you towards their Patreon. So be very careful with things like that, especially with this full ad apocalypse and YouTube demonetization that they keep going on about just now. Be very careful when someone says, "Oh, all my videos have been demonetized, but you can support me on Patreon." Don't fucking take that at face value. See, even if they show you screenshots of like, "Oh, these videos have been demonetized," and it's got the little yellow dollar sign, yeah, don't fucking trust them. Unless they straight up show you the, the revenue gained from those videos, don't trust them. Because what that ye little yellow sign says, and don't this is this is basically one of the points of the one of the videos that I want to do. 
What that little yellow sign means is it doesn't mean it's demonetized, and it's right there in the fucking text that says under it. It says it's limited or no ads, which basically means that that video has been disqualified for being selected in a specific category. So the way the the way the AdWords works, and any fucker in their auntie could do this by like starting an AdWords campaign, um, and just phoning up YouTube or phoning up YouTube, phoning up Google about um setting up an AdWords campaign and just pretend you've got a lot of fucking money to spend um, because then they'll tell you fucking anything. Uh, you can, if you're setting up a big enough AdWords campaign, you can limit what videos it shows on. So you can say, oh, I don't want anything to do with war. It's like, okay, so we won't put your video against war. And that's what all that yellow thing means. It means, like, that video, that video's got something to do with war on it. And not, not particularly... Um... I'm using war as an example, I can't, like, I don't know if that's one of the fucking categories or not. Um, but controversial subjects and there's, oh, there's a lot of things I can go into about fucking people and their fucking nonsense ideals. Um, but controversial subjects are generally advertisers are like, yeah, we don't want videos against, we don't want our advertisements against that. And it's like, yeah, well, it makes fucking sense. You ain't gonna get your fucking Christian society for Jesus fucking advertising against something that's talking about homosexuality. Okay, maybe maybe not specifically that, but you you, you get where I'm coming from. If something um, goes directly against the uh, the the core message of the advertiser, then it's not you, it's kind of acceptable that they wouldn't advertise against that. But as soon as that little yellow thing comes up, you'll see YouTubers posting on their Twitter, making videos about it, saying, YouTube are demonetizing my videos. It's like, no, you've just been knocked out of a category. And, I mean, just fucking appeal it. Nine times out of ten, as long as it's not something fucking ridiculous, someone at YouTube will look at it and be like, yeah, nah, this is fine. And it'll get re-monetized, which is what's happened to, like, about 90% of the videos that I've submitted. The only one that I found kind of interesting that that got rejected was uh, Outlast 2. Uh, I've got a no commentary Outlast 2 full playthrough on my channel that I, I just streamed one day. And uh, yeah, that's still limited. And it's like, I, I kind of understand that. If you've ever watched that fucking video, it's, it's kind of understandable why that's been like flagged as it's pretty brutal. And like, Boy Scouts of America ain't gonna want to fucking advertise against that, let me tell you. So it's like, okay, that's understandable, I get it. But as many YouTubers that aren't as sensible as that, and they'll be like, Yeah, well... Oh my god, and this is, this is one that fucking triggers me every time I hear it. That's against my freedom of speech. It's... It's, it's not. It's, it's not against your freedom, your freedom of, your freedom of speech. Oh my god, freedom of fucking speech. People don't understand it. They do not understand it. Freedom of speech is you've got the freedom to speak out against your government without fear of reprisal. Freedom of speech does not mean that you can talk about whatever the fuck you want on someone else's website and expect to get paid for it. That is not freedom of speech. But, try telling people that. Oh god, try telling people that. And there's loads of people that are like, YouTube are censoring us. No, YouTube's not censoring yet. I'll tell you exactly what YouTube's doing. YouTube is chasing the money. Why? Because it is a company, and that's what they do. They chase the money. If you're pissing off your advertisers, you're earning no fucking money. So what do they do? They make sure their advertisers are happy. And then people are like, yeah, well, YouTube just doesn't want to play ads on my content. It's like, YouTube doesn't give a fuck who you are. Whether you're fucking... Um... Game player 69 or your fucking PewDiePie, YouTube does not give a fuck who you are. All they care about is playing ads against your content and getting paid for it. And making sure you don't cause a stink. Cough, PewDiePie, cough. So when people are like, oh, YouTube's blacklisted me. No, they fucking haven't. Shut the fuck up. You don't have any proof beyond circumstantial nonsense and anecdotal evidence. Yeah, well, 
I I can prove that I was black. Oh, here's another one. I can prove that I've been blacklisted, and all my videos get marked not suitable for advertisers as soon as they've been posted. Why? Because I posted a video that was a black, just a blank screen, just a totally black screen on my video, and it had no title or anything, and it was not suitable for all advertisers. It's like, yeah, because it's spam content. Like, YouTube ain't gonna shove ads against something that's literally just a black screen. Like, are you high? How do they know that? Well, because they're one of the biggest technology companies in the world. They've got machine learning that would fucking surprise you. It's crazy. It's like... So many people, it's like... I think it all comes back to the... The conspiracy theory mentality and... Literally, as soon as someone doesn't understand something, it's all of a sudden it's a conspiracy theory. So they don't understand that ma how machine learning works, how corporate works. Because let's go back to what we were talking about before. They never had a fucking real job. It's all right. Just you, just you try to shag the fucking mountain there, front motor. On you go. I'm not fucking using you or anything. You prick. Um. Yeah, it all goes back to the, they've no idea how business actually works. Like, YouTube doesn't care about any single creator, I'm sorry to burst your fucking bubble, but they don't give a fuck about you. They care about making money, and that's in the macro sense, not the micro sense. And it's like, <laughs> take care of the pennies and the, pound look, the pounds look after them, so no, no. When you've got that many pennies to look after, you can't take care of them. You just look after the big picture. So, yeah. Yeah, but us creators are the ones that... No, shut up. We're the ones that make the money and if we leave YouTube then we can get a better deal and this, that and the other. What you've got to think about there, mate. It's Mr. Strawman. <laughs> is that... YouTube is owned by Alphabet. AKA Google, for all intents and purposes. And Google own AdWords. And AdWords is the world's largest advertisement platform. Okay? Are you trying to tell me, and I'm going to get on to the full Twitch thing in a second, are you trying to tell me that by going to a different website, Vimeo, fucking VidI, vid, vid, Vidme, or fucking whatever, that you're somehow going to get one better service, and two, more money. No. No, you're fucking not. Unless it's... Unless in here we're talking Twitch. Alright? Twitch is funded by Amazon. And I I feel like it's... I feel like Twitch is... I feel like their ads are a loss leader. I don't know how much you get from ads and that's something that I would really like to, to talk to someone, a Twitch partner about. But Twitch is like a... Twitch is a weird one, man. Twitch is all about taking the money off of the viewers. Get the viewers to pay for everything. And people love Twitch. And I don't fucking understand it. So, YouTube, you you watch ads. Cost nobody fucking anything apart from a little bit of their time. Or you can sponsor channels uh, if they stream or give them super chat if they stream. And that's all well and good. So... Uh, regardless of what you do, you sponsor, you, you super chat, or you watch advertisements, the the split's the exact same for YouTube. YouTube take 45%, I think. 45 or 50, I can't fucking remember what side of the split they take. But regardless, it's, you, you don't have a fucking choice. So, there's no point worrying about it. It's like taxes. There's no point worrying about how much you pay in tax because you don't got a fucking choice, you gotta pay it. Um, it's like the people that complain when uh, taxes come round, they're like, Oh my god, my tax is so much! It's like, yeah, you knew this. <laughs> you, know, you knew it was going to be a lot, because that's fucking life. Um, regardless, uh, so yeah, so so YouTube YouTube runs off of an ad-based revenue model, mainly. Um, we're not talking about YouTube Red or anything like that, even though YouTube Red's far superior. Uh, YouTube runs off of an ad-based revenue model, which is you pay a bit of your time, and your favourite creators get paid, and that's it. 
Twitch, however, runs off of how much money can we get out of the viewers' pockets so that the creators can get paid and we can make money. And check the last like four or five new updates from Twitch. Actually, I'd go back to seeing maybe about 10 of the last new updates that Twitch have rolled out and I can guarantee you that the vast majority of them are about taking money off of the viewers, if not all of them. Like, yeah, we're introducing um, new ways that you can cheer. You can now cheer from mobile. You can uh, subscribe to everyone. Like, Twitch affiliates now. They've rolled out Twitch affiliates, which is like basically giving the sponsor, the spon not the sponsor, what, the sub button to pretty much any Twitch streamer. It's like it's all about taking money off of the people who are actually viewing. The content on their site and putting it in their own pocket and I'm not being I'm not being cynical because I'm a YouTube fanboy or anything like that because I used to stream on Twitch I actually streamed on Twitch way before I started YouTube but my internet got downgraded and all I could do was upload I couldn't stream anymore so um, that's when I, I started my YouTube channel but I'm, I'm digressing here uh, the point is, I'm not a YouTube fanboy, I'm just a, a realist here, and in my opinion, Twitch is Twitch is very good at what they do because they're, they exist off of this strange brand loyalty, and brand loyalty is something that you should never have regardless of what position you're in, you should never have brand loyalty because it makes you blind. Loyalty makes you blind to lots of things. And people are very fucking brand loyal to Twitch, uh, and you can see it with the full bleed purple thing, and etc, etc, and people are like, blinded by the fact that it's an inferior service, and I'm, I'm going to compare it now to uh, to YouTube, and to YouTube gaming, and live streaming, and people always ask me, well actually the reason I don't stream on Twitch is multifaceted, and we're not going to go into it here, um, but YouTube has... Uh, better servers, better server uptime. You will never see YouTube streaming go down for an entire fucking day. The worst thing that will happen is that primary primary streaming server will go down and or it will be laggy and you just swap over it back up and it's totally fine. So the worst thing you'll see is like maybe a 10 second delay and it's like oh fuck that's bad. So I mean, like, YouTube already has these ridiculous server farms and all this infrastructure. Which, don't get me wrong, like, Amazon, uh, due to the Amazon purchase of Twitch, they now have access to the Amazon servers, but you still see Twitch going down for literally days. Like, West Coast of the States will not be able to stream on Twitch because it's went down. And gonna be honest with you, never seen that with YouTube. So there's strike one. Uh, strike two, the monetization options are far superior and you've got monetization options being superior as in you can survive off of the ads off of a YouTube, being a YouTube streamer as opposed to surviving off of the generosity of your audience. Which don't get me wrong, there's many streaming audiences including my own that are extremely generous. Um, but I would prefer to be a self-employed person that does not have to survive off of the generosity of others. It's just not something that's, that I'm happy with. Like, you should be able to survive off your own merit and not from people tipping you, essentially. Um, and the, the X point, I forget what fucking number we're on. Your VODs! On YouTube, your VODs will be viewed. On Twitch, they will not. No one will watch your VOD on Twitch. I've seen people with hundreds of thousands of followers on Twitch get, what, like 20 views? Uh, 20 views on their VODs? Maybe 100 views on their VODs? That's like fucking crazy talk, man. It's like, if you're not live, you don't exist, essentially. Which means that if you're trying to create a brand, 
then you have to be there 24 7. I suppose that kind of harkens to just streaming in general and why it's probably not the best way to, to grow a, an online presence is because if you ain't there, you don't exist. Uh, but enough for this diatribe anyway because that is, as they say, is that. And we have run out of time. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Studio, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.